It's not about motivation. When is need discipline? Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with boxer Dillian White. Uh, nice to be joined by yourself. You're looking in good shape as well for somebody who's been out of action for quite a long time. I'm trying, I'm trying. I just fought a couple of weeks ago and now it's about maintaining and staying active, staying good, keeping my weight down. Because, you know, so when you're in dark place, sometimes you just lose your mind and just say, oh, fuck this. And then you just sort of just blow up. You know what I mean? I went up to like 290 pounds, which is high for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I had to lose all that for the last sight in three months. So, you know, I lost most of it. So now it's about maintaining, staying good, staying healthy and just, 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 being more professional and being a bit more healthier year round, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, you know, it's hard, it's hard, man. Uh, obviously, we see you living in Portugal, riding bikes. I'm just curious, why Portugal from all the places in the world? And uh, what else did you get up to apart from riding bikes? Riding more bikes. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, you know, I just wanted to get to the UK. I've been at the UK for like about five years now. And as soon as you get to the UK and just, you know, just be relaxed, you know, I'm just a normal guy there. I go to the normal cafe and have lunch with my builder friends, man. And just relax with normal stuff. Wear like my normal shorts, my normal, just do normal stuff and just, just chill out. Just, just be one of the lads, you know what I mean? You know, instead of people reading you and messing about and people trying to catch you out and stuff. I'm just one of the lads, I go to the normal place. Just, just do, just relax, bro. Just go relax, take it easy and just, just chill out. It's peaceful, man. Good man, it's good to see you happy anyway. It's worth reminding the fans that you're still a top 10 heavyweight. You know, you, yeah. your, your loss is on your record. You've avenged one of the three. The other two come to fear you in ages. So it shows yeah. that you're a guy in the top. So at 35 years old, how much more does Dillian White have to offer in years and fights? A lot more. You know, I feel good. My body feels good. I was doing some single leg squats earlier, testing the old knees out. They're holding up. So I can't complain. I feel good. Let's see. One, one, one fight at a time, you know, one fight at a time and see how we feel on a, on a box. And I will free time to see and see how we go. So let's see what happens. Uh, with regards to that, what's your promotional situation? I know you always kind of freelance to go whatever you want. Free agent for work, because I've always just to make the biggest fight. Sometimes you can't. No, thank God, obviously, um, the Sheikh um, is make, forcing these promoters to work together and make these fights happen, which is great. But that wasn't me before. So I just say a free agent where so I could always go the best options was, you know? I just want to get your opinion on that, um, because Eddie Hen kind of talked about your loyalty when you fought Tyson Fury, saying you didn't have him by your side. But obviously, there's a different opinion, because obviously, from a fighter's point of view, I just want you to kind of explain why was that the right decision for you. you? Know, I didn't want to go into it too much. It was a press based situation. Why didn't Eddie Hen win the press based situation? The, the zone gives him millions of dollars. He should win the press based situation. Frank Oren, I think, won it by 10 or 15 million. Don't quote me on this. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, that was his value, and Frank Curran a better value. That's, that's all it was. It wasn't that. So, one man who would pay you a massive percentage to come. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You know, but, but I'm so cool with him. We still talk. So, and then if you wanted to be on my side, you could have been by my side. All he took was, was to have a proper conversation. But listen, everything happened and whatever, you know, obviously. What about, listen, we cannot go back and forth. The certain situation that he wasn't loyal to me as well, and, but it is what it is. Shit happens, and no point going back and forth about it. Like I said, I'm not an archaeologist. I don't dig in the past. I look forward to the future, and I'm I'm happy to work with him in the future. I'm happy to work with him in the future. I don't I don't hold feelings in boxing because if you hold feelings in boxing, you're gonna be angry with a lot of people. So I ain't got no beef with that. Me and him is cool. In my in my opinion, me and him is cool. But in his, in his opinion, it might be something else. I don't know. I can only talk for me. I got no beef with the guy. I like that analogy of uh, I'm not an archaeologist. Uh, looking ahead, three potential fights: Chisora, Joyce, or maybe Ngannou in a cage. Which one appeals to you the most? I love it. just in the in the order you say it. In the order you say it, I love it just like that. That be my that could be my next three fights for the year. And how do you see the heavyweight picture now? If I was to ask you to name your top four, who are the, who are the top four heavyweights in the country right now? Difficult to say because there's still fights happening to decide that. It's difficult to say, you know, because. Fury might beat Usyk, Usyk might beat Fury, and AJ might fight Usyk and beat Usyk again. It's very hard to say. We have to wait another 12 months to see what's happening. Uh, AJ under Ben Davison, is he a, a new and a improved AJ, or is it good matchmaking? Because there's two opinions. We, we, we don't know. We haven't seen him for any... Let's see. He fought... Who did he fight under Ben Davison? Um, Wallen and Bernard. He beat Wallen twice in the end, which stopped him. So he was going against someone who you know you can knock out anyway. And what, I've never seen Wallen so negative before in a fight. He looks scared out of his wits. Francis just some um, big, strong guy. He have not got the boxing basics, you know. 
First, rule number one, you get knocked down, you don't stand up in the same place, you walk around a little bit because common sense, you put as much space as you can between you, the referee and the, and the opponent. You don't get knocked down right there, stand up right there, and they get knocked down right there, stand up. It doesn't make sense. You know, he couldn't block a right hand or move his head or anything or duck or nothing, you know what I mean? He was just, just he just like, ah, oh, I'm a big, strong guy. I went down once, so right, let's see if he can put me down again. No, the right hand's got bigger, more telegraph every time and he got hit with him, you know? You have to learn to hold, you have to learn to move, you have to learn to move your head and you have to learn to go for a walk sometimes, you know? But listen, he's still working with his MMA people that was teaching him in MMA. He should get some boxing guys around to help him with the basics, you know? And uh, Wardley Clark, well, that's what we're here for. Can I get a quick prediction on from I you from that? Probably he's gonna start he's gonna stop for his um between six and eight rounds. I think he's gonna step the pace up on him and the experience is gonna pay off. As Fraser said yesterday, he'd, 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 he, I think he said, I don't want to quote him, but he basically said he'd beat you and he'd beat Fabio. You ever done any rounds Fra with Fraser? Fraser got to start smoke, got to stop sniffing coke, man. I say that he got to stop sniffing coke. He needs to focus on what the job he's got in hand tomorrow. It's a big job. Focus on that. He needs to leave that dope alone. Leave that dope alone. That's what he needs to do. Last thing, you're you fought in Ireland. Can, can you do an Irish accent at all? <laughs> I don't do that to me, bro. Man. I don't offend nobody, bro. You can Irish I don't, I don't offend nobody, bro. No. I always tell people Tom Carty. Oh, your name is Tom Carty. Hey, oh, what are you doing? Oh, the door, sir. There you go. I saw this dude Tom all the time. He hates it. There you go. The Jamaican Irishman via Portugal uh, from Brixton. Yeah. I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals. 